Speaking on the floor of parliament, member for Koroba Kopiago, William Bando, said his people living along the Strickland River system were badly impacted by the Pogora mining operations. Bando said he has overwhelming scientific evidence from reputable sources that confirm the existence of extreme environmental pollution and negative health impacts. Your department's position on the pollution of the Strickland River system and its effects on lives and livelihoods of my people. And I think the same is said or can be said of our people from Ladai on the Pogra side, the anger, the anger side. <laughs> Can you give assurance to my people that their plights will be considered or have been considered in the new Pogra negotiations? Mr. Bando also said on Friday 13, 2020, the National Executive Council approved in its entirety the 18 recommendations of the CLRC report that included the total ban on riverline tailings discharge by future mines in PNG. However, Mr. Bando said the same NEC again on August 25, 2020, issued through the Mineral Resources Authority the new Pogara Special Mining Lease, approving the direct tailings discharge into the same Pogara Strickland River system. Would you agree with me that the environmental liabilities of the old Pogara needs to be segregated or separated? before going forward in the new program with the citizens untainted, and I, and I repeat, untainted, Kumul Minerals Holdings Limited. And finally, given the overwhelming body of evidence of extreme environmental and health and physical degradation on my people's habitat, what is your plan for the full compensation, and if any, so, in what form, shape, and when? Minister for Mining Anopala directed the question to Minister for Environment to answer the concerns raised by Bando. We both agree that this matter falls within the responsibility for both of us. So I want to point that out because I, I have been guilty in answering uh, some questions recently that uh, and more implications on environment and mining. Freddie Mo, TV One News.